flood and drain bed in aquaponics, a little bit of uh, nutrient deficiency, probably some iron and manganese is showing up more in the cooler weather because it's winter. But um, all these runners have come up here and this is what I'm going to use to propagate some um, new strawberry runners. You can see they're, they're almost got roots on them now. So these are going to be quite easy to strike. Just cut these off and stick them in some rock wool cubes in the flood and drain system and I'm sure they'll grow. So we'll be able to have a new generation of strawberry plants. Thank you. G'day, so I just want to show you how we do these strawberry runners now. What I've done is I've taken the runners, just snipped them off the plant. And then what I'll do is I'm just soaking them in a bucket of fertilizer, of uh, hydroponic fertilizer. And I've added a bit of hydrogen peroxide, about uh, two mil of hydrogen peroxide, the 50% hydrogen peroxide in um, 10 litres of water just to sterilise everything and add an extra molecule of oxygen will kickstart these um, kickstart these strawberry plants off so just um, separate the plants from the runners just like this you see so just take the runners off using a pair of scissors. These plants will, uh, you can plant these in soil. These are going into aquaponics just to start them off. And I'll probably move them into hydroponics. Okay. So what I've done is I've soaked some of these rock wool cubes in uh, hydroponic fertilizer. And now what I'll do uh, using these pair of scissors, I'll just break a hole in there, put say a couple of runners in each one. Put the, push the rock wall around them again, just they're sitting in a tray with a little bit of water. You can uh, reduce off a couple of leaves if there's too many leaves. I think these will be alright. The weather's pretty mild. You can even just plant these straight into potting mix and just keep them moist in pots, they'll be fine. And then these are going into that flood and drain aquaponics sort of set up over there with the yabbies in it. And they'll, um, I'll just flood that bed probably, probably just once a day I think. Should be enough for them. And then we'll have a new generation of, of uh, strawberry plants. Remove any sort of scabby looking leaves. This one's already got roots on it.
simple eh? So there we go, that's done. They're planted. We'll just plonk them in the um, flood and drain, which probably, and that'll keep them moist, uh, not too wet, and they, um, they'll produce roots, I reckon within a week, they'll be producing roots and they'll be growing. Thank you, have a great day. So here's the um, strawberries in place, and I'll just give them a flood now, turn the system on. Now off, and that'll dry. I probably won't have to turn it back on till tomorrow. Probably just do it once a day. There you go, cool as done. Have a great day.